In January, Louisiana sugarcane growers were concerned, seeing their crops buried under more than six inches of snow. It turned out the snow was a blessing, but another weather event soon after had a more profound effect. Well, we had a snow, a lot of snow, uh, six to eight inches in places. That was an insulator that protected the crop. The bullet that we didn't dodge was the freeze one month later in mid-February. That freeze thinned out stands across the state, especially in the central and northern parts of the cane belt. But even with that, the crop has progressed and is ahead of schedule. We hit our grand growth phase about two or three weeks early. The grand growth phase is our maximum growth period. Our crop can grow as much as an inch a day. After 12 years of testing in fields and labs, the U.S. Department of Agriculture released the variety HOCP 18-803. According to Ag Center breeder Michael Ponniff, 803 has many positive attributes. 803 was determined to have good tonnage, good stalk size, uh, good, good sugar, medium maturing sugar, especially in the plant cane and the first double crops, actually doing statistically and significantly better than LO1 299, which is the leading variety in the state for the past several years. Matt Foster, an Ag Center weed scientist, told the group that an invasive weed, Lufa quinquifida, was found for the first time in the state in late 2024. It's native to Central America and uh, has the potential to lodge cane, bring it to the ground, similar to like a, a tie vine, it wraps around the cane, uh, can cause issues with harvest, clogging the machine. Because the cane is ahead of schedule, Gravois believes planting will begin later this month. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Craig Gotro reporting.